The holidays are generally very difficult for injured veterans. So you got any good news then? The question of how I got started is coincidental because not only have I always loved the movies, but I actually started uh, by working with celluloid film itself. So I started uh, projecting movies on projectors just like this right behind me on 70 millimeter and 35 millimeter. Um, previous projects that I worked on that I developed, I actually wrote and directed Journey to the Ring, uh, which was a series and also The Show Must Go On, which that movie won seven awards and was selected in over 15 festivals around the world. Um, so I've done several series and movies and documentaries and shorts. Um, and I'm so excited for everyone to see my new movie, My Best Life. The best way to describe my best life would be gritty. Um, it's, it's authentic, it's graphic, um, but it raises a lot of questions that need to be answered about life and society as a whole and how things have changed um, and the effects of war and mental health. So um, that's how I would describe the movie. It's, it's definitely um, a look at war like we've never seen in a long time or haven't seen really ever before. So some of my favorite filmmakers are Quentin Tarantino and Christopher Nolan. And the reason why is because they're huge proponents and supporters and they still use celluloid film to this day. And I started with film, uh, so I love them for that. As a matter of fact, it's filmed exactly like this. Uh, matter of fact, uh, my last movie, The Show Must Go On, I actually added in their names, Quentin Tarantino, Christopher Nolan, in the special thanks section of the credits of the movie. So I only have the greatest respect and appreciation for them for the support and continued use of film. I would describe my directing style as being real and honest and authentic and raw and uncensored and uncut. And whatever happens in the first take, I'll use it in the first take. You know, I, I love that feeling. I don't like things that are polished. I don't like the feeling of any scene being contrived, almost being uh, too rehearsed. It's just not authentic. I like authenticity. That's my directing style, is to be 100% real to you, the viewer and the audience. Well, the, there's two films. One is a brand new original concept of a script that I came up with, uh, a psycho, psychologically thrilling story that's never been told before called Case Number 111-878. Um, we wrote it. Um, I wrote it, I'm, I'm producing it, and it's going to be produced regardless of big budget or not, but it, it would really benefit from having a great budget, um, and I can't wait for that to be made for everyone to see. Now, if I were to remake or reboot something with a good budget, it would have to be the Friday the 13th movie. The original Friday the 13th with my vision, my innovative, creative, unique vision of horror, I'd love to do that. And truthfully, who better to produce a Friday the 13th movie than a director named Jason? <laughs> when the question comes up about keeping a uh, efficient production, uh, just like my good buddy Turbo over here would do, I, I, I am very, very efficient. Um, I believe in the old maxim of measuring twice and cutting once. Before I step on set, I'm completely prepared. I expect the same thing of my cast, of my crew, so that when we go on set, I never do more than three takes, three takes of any scene. 
it's done three times at most. For a lot of the scenes that I do in movies, I only do one take. So um, that's how I ensure that production not only stays on schedule, but that we actually keep a quicker schedule and uh, the movies I make are far more efficiently made. The most challenging thing about making my best life was battling the elements. Uh, the movie we made, we filmed um, from the end of October through February in Northern Canada. So during the entire winter, a lot of it was outside. Uh, a lot of the set was in a concrete cell, um, concrete ceilings, concrete walls, concrete floor. Um, it wasn't a set, it was a real cell. So filming that in the winter, it was just so difficult and so, so much of a grind, so gritty, but uh, the final results was authentic and that's what we wanted. We wanted that authentic, icy, cold tundra, that feeling to really bring out the emotion in the movie. The next movie that I'm working on is called Bell to Bell. It is a boxing movie. I'm so excited for everyone to see it. We've already entered pre-production, so it's gonna be um, an amazing film. It's gonna be a really unique fight film that's never been done before, never been seen before, a brand new original concept I came up with, and I cannot wait to have it done so that everyone can see it. Uh, bell to Bell, hoping for summer of 2024. And let's just say it's gonna be a pretty, smashing hit.